All right, new video. Thermal pads and thermal paste. So like I mentioned earlier in this video, this is about thermal paste and thermal pads. Now I know this channel's never done any kind of testing on thermal pads, but this is a tech channel regarding computers, so why not do it? Now what I got here are a bunch of thermal paste and thermal pads from a company called Thermal Hero. Now they've done so well on Newegg, Amazon, and different other companies that they're making the presence here in North America. And this is actually from one of the directors at Be Quiet that started this company. Now they went ahead and sent your boy a ton of different thermal paste as well as thermal pads to test out and show the viewers what they're all about now we'll start off here on the left and move our way to the right this is called neo high performance thermal paste and this looks like their entry based thermal paste moving up towards the top of the ladder we have thermal heroes ultra which is another thermal paste and this one is for ultra high performance so as it describes for ultra high performance uh for your high-end gpu and cpu then we got quantum thermal paste which is basically extreme high performance again for high-end gpu and cpus with heavy workloads then we got some liquid metal this is metallio and this is a liquid metal uh for high-end gpus and CPUs and extreme overclocking. So if you're trying to delit your CPU, uh, you would want to use this. And we're going to have a video on deleting the CPU and applying some liquid metal. But for right now, we're not going to test this one out because we're not going to do any kind of delitting. And then we have a thermal pads. Now this is a alternative to thermal paste. So if you're not trying to create a mess or you are trying to just like have an easy installation and always swapping CPUs out and you don't want to deal with the headache of thermal paste, well, you can just throw this on and we'll be testing this as well comparing it to the rest of these thermal paste now for our test bench we are going to be using the intel 14 600k processor from intel as well as using msi's core liquid e360 aio so we're going to test this all out and we're going to see using these thermal paste and thermal pad are we going to see a significant difference versus the other thermal paste on the market and it's truly if this is really good enough to put in your system build next time you either upgrade or build a system so the first one we're going to go with is the neo this is the their entry level and it you can tell it says all cpu and gpu overclocking plus gaming playstation xbox industrial application so you can even put this on your consoles and it would be totally fine Bloop. okay that's a good blob all right so we got this set up let's go ahead and turn on the system oh i forgot no front panel connectors no worries all we gotta do is find the way to spark this and there you go she's alive okay so we got hardware info popped up and uh yeah this is the neo thermal paste that's on this 14600k and if we look at the cpu package we are at pretty much 31 degrees celsius with a core temperature of 25 degrees celsius and a core max of 27 so now we have a baseline and we know what the entry level which is the neo can pretty much accomplish for your pc your playstation xbox and other gaming applications so yeah 31 degrees celsius for the cpu package 25 degrees celsius for the core package and core max we're at 27 degrees celsius so now what we want to do is apply the ultra and let's see if that can actually bring it down and if it actually makes a difference so yeah time to reapply this with the ultra clean 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 and guys if you want to clean off your thermal paste isopropyl alcohol 91 percent is the best all right so now that we got that cleaned off we're gonna apply some of this thermal hero ultra edition onto here and see does it make a big difference versus the original neo so let's get this baby on all right so now we got the system booted back up we did apply the ultra version of thermal heroes thermal paste and does it make a big difference versus the neo and let's take a look so running hardware info cpu package now is at 29 degrees celsius with the core temperatures at 24 degrees celsius so two to one to two degrees celsius drop on the package and uh one degree celsius drop on the core temperature but we can see it does fluctuate it goes back up to 30 but then right back to cpu package and guys i am running this pump at a normal or just basic pump speed so haven't changed anything and we're still at 29 degrees celsius so 
it does drop it by one to two degrees using the ultra but we didn't do this for the regular neo we're gonna actually stress test this the cpu and we're gonna see how far does it go okay we are running cpu z and we're stress testing the cpu and you can see over here we got 100 percent utilization on the cpu and temperatures look pretty good cpu package is at 70 degrees celsius drops down to 69 68 but then right back up to 70 core temperatures at 60 degrees celsius and again the cpu is running at 100 percent utilization with a stress test on cpu z so really not bad 70 degrees celsius is very good for all the cores and threads running at 100 percent so okay ultra ultra seems to give us uh, an ultra performance versus the regular basic neo version now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the quantum thermal paste and this one here is for high-end cpu and gpu with heavy heavy workloads we want to see basically can it drop lower than the 29 degrees celsius on the core package and does it make sense to go a step higher versus the ultra to get the quantum because it's all about quantum right so right off the bat the quantum version of thermal heroes thermal paste is a lot bigger so you do get more thermal paste with the quantum versus the ultra and the neo so all right let's see what you got quantum all right so now we have the quantum thermal paste applied to the 14600k and let's take a look at the cpu package we're at 29 degrees celsius and uh yeah it jumped down to 28 a little bit earlier but we got our core temperatures at 25 degrees celsius and our core max at 26 27 so it does drop down one degree to 28 which would make it better than the ultra but it's staying at a consistent 29 degrees celsius but the core temperatures have done have dropped so the ultra versus the quantum really don't make that much of a difference but when we went from the neo down to the ultra we did see two degrees drop in celsius for the temps now let's go ahead and test out some stress testing and see how far does this work because well quantum said for heavy workload so let's give it some heavy workload stress cpu all right we're at 100 percent utilization on the cpu let's take a look at our temperatures we are at cpu package is at 72 71 degrees um and then our core max is at 72 and core temperature is at 64 so yeah and it is kind of going up so yeah this concludes one thing on the thermal paste quantum pretty much is almost the same as ultra so you know you can even get away with ultra and get pretty much the same performance because the cpu package is a lot higher but we have been testing this a little bit longer than the ultra so to be fair that's what's going on now what's really curious now what i'm really curious about is how does these uh, thermal pads work if we clean off the paste off the cpu and install one of these thermal pads will it make a big difference well let's go ahead and put this blanket over the ihs and see what happens all right so we got the neo thermal pads now we're gonna apply this to the 14600k uh it does come in a huge thermal pad so you do need to cut to size but it wasn't really that difficult and i think i did a good job so we're gonna apply it and see how much of a good job did i do go to sleep little one i'm putting the thermal blanket all over you we got the neo thermal pad placed on the ihs of the cpu and taking a look at our temperature cpu package as at 33 degrees celsius core max at 27 and core temperatures at 27 fluctuating 26 27 so it, it pretty much a little bit a little bit higher in the temperatures but to be fair enough the room is a little bit warmer so um yeah if you're looking for something less messier the neo thermal pad is uh gonna be perfect because uh temperatures are not that bad but let's see what it does under stress load okay well we're stress testing the pc and uh, cpu package is at 100 degrees celsius uh, with the core temperatures at 93 so that's pretty hot so i would not recommend using this if you're trying to overclock or really put your pc under high loads of stress this would be perfect for like a playstation xbox or even a computer that you're not trying to push to the limit like that because uh yeah my friends this is a uh, pretty pretty hot all right so bottom line is thermal heroes lineup of thermal paste and thermal pads are pretty nice now minus the fact that you do not want to put this on a pc that is going to be used at 100 percent cpu loads or you're going to do heavy overclocking i would pretty much save this for like xbox and playstations if you're deciding to put a thermal pad and you know try to cool down your temps there but as far as the other stuff goes like the metallic we didn't try out the metallic because this is liquid metal and i wasn't going to delete anything today but we'll do another video on deleting and use this and as far as the neo ultra and quantum now if you go from the neo to the ultra you will see a two degree celsius drop going from the neo down to the ultra but when you go from the ultra 
to the quantum, it's margin of error because for a second we saw the quantum drop down to 28 degrees celsius but then jump right back up to 29 and the ultra was staying at 29 the, pretty much the whole time yeah pretty cool and definitely can't wait to test out this liquid metal to see how it does under a delitting process